Good day, fellow skiers. In this video, I'm going to take you on a park tour of Larks' different snow parks. Right now, I'm heading towards the beginner park, where I often coach beginner intermediate freestyle skiers doing their camps. Yeah, so I often teach basic box slides over there. But that's the rail, it feels pretty good. This jump is pretty nice to teach like the first little 360s. We're a shifty today. See so what we should do here. Ah, double nose grab. That's not every day. And this tube is just wonderful. Wow, that was a little sketch. But that's okay. And then just down to the bottom lift. All right, so that was the beginner part. Lovely place, spent lots of time here, teaching everything to like 540s before moving on to the medium park where we're going now. All right, now we're at the medium park at Snow Park Ills Plown, one of my favorite parks because of its quick lap on the bottom left. Let's go for a ride. See how it goes, if I still know how to do some of these tricks, it'll be my first rider line of the season, kind of. I was going well. <laughs> that was so much fun. What should we do here then? A bit of a signature thing in the Larks Park is they like to make volcanoes. Round, smooth features. They're really fun to do like all kinds of little maneuvers on. Grinding, jump over, followed by one of the sickest fat tubes ever. Ha, <laughs> that was so slow. And this thing here, I don't love it. But you can get quite creative on it. One of the best things about the Ilse Plowns Park is this. A good old drag lift. Although I prefer the T-bars even more, because they remind me so much of growing up in northern Sweden, where you just like in this park get a pretty short lap, where you can really focus on the tricks you want to learn. Usually there is a small jump line and a medium-sized one. But this year we have exceptionally little amounts of snow. It's about one third of the usual amount, I think. And uh, they've done the best with what they have. And currently it's only one line. As a bit of a bonus here in Lox, I love how they use actually a pipe shaping machine to make the sides of the jumps perfect. So you can uh, hit them like quarter pipes or use these quarter pipe shapes, jumping into the landings. Large snow park Kurnias. Very nice. So once you graduated from the Ilse Plowns Park, you can start heading either the Noonan Park, which is kind of the top section with a button lift, or you can go for the full P60 or Kurnias Park which is a long jib park full of rails, sometimes jumps and quarter pipes. It's the place where I usually spend most of my time actually. It's just so playful. All right, so let's do the whole P60 Oconius lap. That'll be some fun. What should we do here? A oh, little too. This is my favorite rail in the whole park. It's kind of difficult. Whee! That worked pretty good. Oh. Since we made a wall ride video, I'm really into them. Should we continue? Oh, no! A 
I'm not so into that rail. But I am into this one here. That felt nice. Left or right? Ah, 270 will do. Let's go right, that feature's way more fun. Let's do a 90 Japan out. That felt nice. This one is best done by lip sliding it. Yeah. You actually get to build up a certain kind of endurance to ski this park. It's so long and has so many features in it. That's the second best down flat down in the park. I love it. Let's see if I can do this one. Try to 360 swap it. And then straight to the rainbow. Oh, I got the Japan backslide. Nice. I like that trick. I don't land it so often. This one is really long, so it requires a lot of speed. Do a lip slide. Woo! This is a weird one. I really like to do from the side. Ooh. Almost stacked it. Get a little new crab on this transfer here. Woo! A little scared. Oh, nice jump here. So this box here looks a little wonky. I don't trust it. <laughs> Let's hit the sunshine down here. Ah, that was tight. So short. This tail bumped it maybe. Ah, oh, I missed it. That felt amazing. That's the last feature in the park usually. So that was a P60. The funnest lap here for sure. It's quite exhausting after a full day of riding that. It's so long, so many features. You actually need both the strength and some endurance to hit it all day. It's rad. Now I'm here at the mini pipe. It's actually not that mini if you would skied for the first time, but it's great fun. I like it as a warm up sometimes because you get a lot of hits in in a short time. Let's go for a ride in it. Okay. Mini pipe, one of the tastiest little places to be shredded. Oh, that was a little, not so nice, but new crab throw is great. And alley oop. Oh, I missed the landing on that. That was great. Done. Oh. It's spring vibes today, it's been pretty warm, so the perfect was like in prime conditions. Nice and slushy on one side. The super pipe. A pretty intimidating part of this park, but it's so much fun. And actually, like intermediate skiers can benefit quite a lot from riding it, because dealing with these G-forces without ending up back seated is quite beneficial for doing jumps later on. Okay, world's biggest pipe. Quite intimidating with it starting out the pipe run slowly. Oh no, that wasn't that good. I was so good at this pipe skiing, but I don't dare to jump so high, but I think it's hella fun. Oh, nice. Let's go bigger this time. Oh, nice. <laughs> Not my best run, but... 
you get the point of it. Super fun and it's quite a wild discipline. I'm so impressed by the pro athletes, what they do to the Olympics and X Games. Incredible, absolutely mind blowing. I got a bit of back pain, so I don't want to hit the pro line yet. But we got you, Mikael here. Hi guys. Slovakia's best freestyle skier. Yeah, I'm only one, maybe. <laughs> maybe that. How is the pro line today? It's best, perfect it's... speed, mm -hmm. smooth in run, smooth landing, not big impact. Mm -hmm. You can go big, it's soft, so you can do whatever you want. Nice. What are you going to show us now on your line? Some backflip, front flip, smooth line. Smooth line, all right, we look forward to see it. Thanks for tagging along on uh, Bring Your Audience to Work Day and uh, checking out these nice parks we got here. And uh, give us a little like, maybe subscribe or uh, join one of our camps. See you in the next video and have a good day. Ciao.